everyone. 2020 is right around the corner and as in my last post that I made, I wanted to share a little bit about my goals for 2020 right now. I've already gone through and cut out a lot of things from different magazines, things that have been inspiring to me. I don't know if everything is going to make it on my vision board this year because I just kind of mass cut everything and then I lay it all out and see what fits, what's kind of a duplicate or a repeat and what I really want to pursue in 2020. So I'm just going to go through and show you some of the different pictures, what they represent to me, what I think might manifest from that and give you an idea of how I like to put together a vision board for 2020 to reach my goals. So in absolutely no random order, I have a mixture of pictures and words together. I'm just going to start picking up things. So this is one of the items. It just looks like a statue of a girl who looks like she's a very zen and I think I probably cut this out because I wanted to focus more on my internal connection with myself, being more relaxed and in my everyday life and I guess that's why I cut her out. Um, so that's one of them. This one says find the beauty in you. See, I don't think I'm going to put this one on because I do feel like I'm very connected with my inner soul and my beauty and um, I know how my strengths, my weaknesses, my unique traits, and so I think I just really like the words, but I probably won't keep this one. Um, it's just a nice, you know, message to, to read, so that's probably why I cut that out. This one right here, I'll also say I only have like literally half of my nails done and these ones aren't it's it's a bad situation but this is one that has actually helped me throughout this year when i cut it when i cut it out it says all or nothing and that just means that if you're going to do something either do it at 100 percent or don't do it at all because why waste your time with something if you're not going to fully pursue it it's pretty much just a distraction at that point from the things that are really important in your life so i'll definitely be keeping this on i'm going to kind of make a keep and a get rid of pile I'm definitely going to keep this on because I feel like I did take on a lot in 2020 or in 2019 and there are some things that I probably could have dropped off to make time for the things I really cared about and I probably procrastinated those things because I had all these other things I was pursuing. So I'm going to keep that one. A success for all of us and this is definitely something that will probably make it on my vision board. I don't know where it'll go, but I just really want everyone. I always want to spread a message that everybody can find success. We can all find happiness. There is more than enough in the world to go around. Like just because I find success in a certain way that maybe you want to find success with does not mean that you cannot find success in that same way too. But we just will take different paths to get there. So I do want to keep promoting this message on a larger scale, whether it's through speaking, social media, pageants. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, I want to see. And now this is one that I might not keep because I cut this one out before I ran my half marathon. Because at first I said in 2020 I was going to run my first half marathon. And then I ran my first half marathon already. So that's already completed. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably cut the half part off because I do want to run a marathon in 2020. So I'll just keep the women's marathon on there as a reminder that that's going to be my goal to run the Detroit Free Press Marathon. So I'm going to keep that one as well. This one says be the boss because I currently work numerous jobs right now. Some of them I am, you know, doing myself as a, you know, as a pageant coach, as a speaker, but some of them I'm also employed, like I work at a nursing home, but I really do want to be my own boss. I see that for myself in the future. I just don't know um, when I'm going to eventually just take that on full time and do that completely. But this is just always a reminder to be the boss, be the boss of your life. If it's a career, be the boss of your career. So I'm going to keep that. I have, I'll show a picture now because those were a few words. I have Olivia Culpo in this ad and of course she was a future Miss Universe or a future Miss Universe, uh, a past Miss Universe, one of the most popular Miss Universes. She's an international model, goes all over the world in runways, photo shoots. She works with Sports Illustrated as well. Um, no doubt she's an icon that I look up to and I think like if I try to reach the goal of becoming like the status of Olivia Culpo, I'll probably be like way higher than if I didn't shoot for like her level of success in the modeling and fashion industry and pageant community as well. So I'm gonna keep her up there cause she's just uh, stunning. And so I don't know if that'll be like a pageant way I wanna pursue that or a modeling way, but I'm gonna keep her up there. This I don't know if I'll be able to do. This is a yoga pose. And in 2019, I started doing these 30 day yoga sessions online from Yoga with Adrian and 
I really enjoyed them, but I kind of did them like at different points in time. So I would love to do it more consistently. I don't know if that's something I will or not, but I just love like the Zen practice and I find it very therapeutic and relaxing. Whether or not I'm able to do a handstand like this, that doesn't matter so much as just like keeping up my yoga practice. So again, I think I was like channeling some Victoria's Secret vibes and I cut out a picture of Lily Aldridge. I don't know if that'll, I don't know, maybe I'll be a Victoria's Secret model one day, although they canceled the fashion show for this year, so it's kind of upsetting, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna maybe put Lily Aldridge in like my modeling fashion photo shoot, you know, section, we'll see. And then what does this say? Oh, see, this is a double, or not a double, but it says promote yourself to boss, so I might pick one or the other. I'll keep that in my keep pile, just because I don't know what I'll want. This one says your spontaneity is showing and I am a very spontaneous person. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of spontaneous things I do in 2020 because 2019 was very planned. And so I'll probably find a way to put this on there if it's this, if it's a picture. It's kind of hard to show spontaneity in a picture or is it, I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna keep cutting out more things after like throughout the month of December, but that's one thing I have. I wanna show more pictures, I don't have many. Um, so again, I have another girl meditating. She's kind of, I mean, I think this is an ad for a, a fitness wear campaign, but that's not really the point of this, but it's just the fact that she's meditating and I want to keep up my meditation practice. I'm not going to lie. I have not sat down and done a meditation practice like in full since I got back. I started one and then I fell asleep. And so that's something I really want to get back into. And I'll probably go do that right after this video, just to make that commitment starting now. Some of the other words that I think I had a Vogue magazine and I just got like super bougie. I cut out the words Vogue, Dior, Prada. Those are the main ones I can see here. But again, I think I'm just like being a little extra. Like these are not necessary whatsoever, whether it means, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just that like I'm inspired by these like very international, well-known brands with like a high standard. I think that's more what I'm going for when I cut out these things and like they might make it on my, my vision board, they may not. I have a lot of words right now. I wanna get more pictures, so something I'll have to look for. I have pictures of San Francisco because it is my favorite place in the whole entire world. Like my favorite town that I've ever visited and I wanna go back. I don't know if it'll be this year, but it's just to remind me that like, I might even wanna live there one day, I don't know. But just again, to remind me of like a happy place and like seeing that for myself in the future. If it's not, you know, visiting or living there, just, uh, reminding me that it's a place that I enjoy and to always seek that kind of happiness in my life. That's another one. Um, I don't plan on getting a dog this year, but I really like pugs and Frenchies and those are just some really cute photos of them that to show like in the future I'll want one and hopefully maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll get to like dog sit one in the future. I've pet a lot this year, a lot. And apparently in Toronto, there's this Frenchie parade it happened at the same time that my half marathon was happening in Toronto, so maybe I'll go to that next year. And they all dressed in like Halloween costumes. That would be it. Like maybe that's what'll happen next year. We'll see. Uh, so again, I think this kind of goes with my modeling, like pursuing more modeling things in 2020 is the Shape Magazine with a pic photo of Jessica Alba's face because she was on the cover. And also a photo of Jessica Alba, again, just like a very, you know, independent women in the community. She's very well known in the pageant, or not a lot. I'm getting my girls mixed up now. Modeling industry and acting as well. She's stunning, gorgeous. These may make it on, I don't know. Again, it's always just good to cut them out and have them rather than not have them at all. I'm trying to flip some of these things over. I have the word queen in a heart, which of course is gonna make it on there because even if I don't have an a current title right now, always the mentality that I have is holding myself to a higher standard and that's what that'll be. Hopefully it'll be with a crown in the new year, but who knows? We will see. I have a picture of abs, just a reminder to myself to dedicate my health and fitness and always keep that being a priority, which it's not been the last week, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm hoping to get back, uh, like settling down on eating all the junk food and eating better. I have MG because those are my initials, so something to represent that it's my vision board. Again, I have a hashtag boss of my body, so I've uh, just again making sure that I'm the one that's in control of my actions. Oh, I found a Chanel. Who knows? Maybe I'll own some Chanel in the future because I don't own anything. I don't really know why I cut this off. Clearer skin is possible because my skin's pretty clear, so I think I'm gonna put that on the side. Maybe if like 
I do like a vision board with someone. Maybe they'll like these. I don't know if you do vision boards. I have these cut out if you want them. I have Healthy Guru. Again, I would love to do focus a lot more on my health and fitness and promoting that to others because whenever I start to do it and I get into it and I'm posting about it, which has been a lot of 2019, people ask me so many questions about it. So maybe making it a little more consistent so I have better content to give to people because right now I'm like, I don't know, I'm all over the place. I do different things and that's not very helpful. I have elephants. Maybe I want to travel to Africa. I don't know. I don't know. I cut these out a couple months ago, like I said, but that's cute. I have a couple of fitness images. I don't know what this is. I have the Eiffel Tower. Again, channeling some Paris vibes. But some fitness images, like 6 a.m. Because I loved waking up early all year. Like, that has been a staple in my routine that has truly changed who I am. Waking up early around 5 or 6 a.m., whether it's before work or not. Waking up, getting a good workout in, starting the day on a very, like, positive note. Like no matter what, if you start a workout or if you start your day early with a workout, you're going to feel a million times better than if you didn't. And it's so easy to not do it that this will just kind of be my reminder to get up and do it in the morning, even if you don't want. And it takes a while. I just have a couple, two things left. So I have Headstrong, which is just, again, some nice, nice wording. Uh, may keep that. I think I'm going to put that in my probably won't keep it pile just because it doesn't have a really strong thing for me that I want to accomplish in 2020 and I'm already super headstrong. And the last one, I don't know how big my visions board's going to be, but this is like one of my favorite photos. It's of Rihanna. I just cut out the whole damn thing. And she's just like, the photo, it's in half so it doesn't look as intense, but she's just like, she's so boss. She is so boss and so hot in this photo. She looks amazing, absolutely amazing. And it's just to remind myself that, you know, to remind all of us that we can be this way. Like we can feel good, we can feel confident, fierce, sexy, striking, whatever it is that you wanna call it, um, if you want to. So I may put her on there, may not, may just keep it like on the side just to be like, yeah, like I can be like Rihanna one day. Uh, if I don't wanna work out or if I don't, if I'm not feeling the vibes of a photo shoot, I'll just be like, no, if Rihanna can do it, I can do it. I don't know. Those are just some things that I want to accomplish in, in 2019. Some of them I've already started pursuing in 2019 that I want to continue on in 2020. So I keep getting like tongue twisted saying the different years. I can't even believe that we're already going through another year. This has been such an amazing year and I cannot wait to show you what my finished vision board is going to be when I'm done. Probably not going to be until the end of December because I have a lot of thinking, reflecting on things that I want to do, but I'm really excited to get that started and I hope that you're looking forward to making a vision board too. And if you have any questions for me, I would love to answer them, but overall have a great day and enjoy the 1st of December.